Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Daily SpaceX Updates. In this video, we are going to talk a lot of exciting news about SpaceX and other space stuff. So, without wasting any time, let's start the video. While we are figuring out what SpaceX might do next with the fully stacked Starship, we have some exciting news about SpaceX. Earlier today, SpaceX announced customers for its second Starship commercial human spaceflight around the moon and the company's fourth human spaceflight mission on its Starship rocket. American engineer and entrepreneur Dennis Tito and his wife Akiko Tito were announced as the first crew members among the 12 seats available for a trip around the moon. Dennis Tito was also the first privately funded space tourist to the International Space Station in 2001 on a Soyuz spacecraft and now he is ready for his second flight to space on a SpaceX Starship. The world's first space tourist said he could not reveal the price he paid to SpaceX for the two seats but the other 10 seats are still available. Polaris 3 mission is already in line to be the first human test flight mission of the Starship rocket. In 2018, Starship's first commercial crew mission around the moon called the Dear Moon Project financed by Japanese billionaire Yusaku Mizawa was announced. And of course, Artemis 3 mission will involve a lunar version of Starship. SpaceX's Starship is in the developmental stage. We will see a lot of test flight missions before humans get a chance to fly on it. Then NASA will certify the rocket for crewed mission. SpaceX has to prove a lot before it can board humans on the world's most powerful and advanced rocket but it is also good to know that there are people who believed in SpaceX's long-term goal to advance human spaceflight and help make life multiplanetary. What a time to be alive when people now can pay to travel to space. We live in a new era of space where humans have proven so much of their capability and advanced engineering breakthroughs. Just think of the DART mission as an example. Japanese lunar exploration company iSpace announced today that the company is targeting to launch its M1 lunar lander, part of the Hakuto R program, in a target window of November 9th till 15th at the earliest. A Falcon 9 rocket will send the lunar lander into space from Pad 39A at Kennedy Space Center in Florida. The lunar lander will carry multiple commercial and government payloads including two rovers to the surface of the moon. As per the latest updates, the lander is now ready to be shipped to the launch site in Florida after completing the final functional testing of the flight model at the IAB GmbH Space Center in Germany. NASA's SpaceX Crew-4 is now targeting Thursday, October 13 at 10.05 a.m. Eastern Time to undock from the space station with a targeted splashdown off the coast of Florida at approximately 5.43 p.m. ET. Crew Dragon Freedom was launched atop a Falcon 9 rocket from Launch Complex 39A in Florida on April 27. The four astronauts will be finally returning home after completing a nearly six-month science mission in orbit. Amazon announced today that the first two prototype satellites KuiperSat-1 and KuiperSat-2 of its satellite broadband program Project Kuiper will now be launched on the first flight of United Launch Alliance's Vulcan rocket early next year. The test satellites were initially planned to launch on an RS-1 rocket developed by ABL Space Systems but Amazon changed their minds and now will be launched as a rideshare mission on the first flight of Vulcan Centaur in early 2023. This year in April, Amazon bought a whooping 92 launches from ULA, Arian Space, and Blue Origin to deploy its constellation of 3,236 satellites. Rocket Lab is gearing up to launch its first-ever mission from the U.S. soil this December. Electron rocket arrived at the company's integration and control facility in Virginia. This historic launch for the company will carry Hawkeye 360's satellite into orbit. Over the coming weeks, the rocket will undergo integration of satellites, wet dress rehearsal and static fire tests. And finally, before I end the video, here is a quick update on NASA's Artemis 1 mission. NASA says Artemis 1 mission is now targeting November 14 for liftoff on its SLS rocket from Pab 39B at Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Backup launch opportunities are available on the 16th and 19th. SLS missed the late September and early October launch periods due to Hurricane Ian. This time, there will be no excuses for this multi-billion dollar rocket. They already resolved the hydrogen leak issues and had already completed a successful wet dress rehearsal after multiple attempts. Let's hope they launch this rocket to mark the beginning of the Artemis program, Humanity's Return to the Moon mission. That was a lot of space news, wasn't it? Thank you for watching till the end. 